What is going on my peeps and welcome back to yet another installment of Dwindling Down the Days Before I Hit My First Heart Attack. I'm sure you've already seen the title. Today we're trying out some stuffed fried Doritos that they used to have in 7-Eleven for a very brief time but they didn't really last too long. And I, for one, never really got to try them, which, of course, I was a little butthurt about, but today, we are here to try to replicate them and see if they come out any good. Before we begin on this recipe, though, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you aren't already, hit the like button at the end of the video if you liked it. If you don't like it, I mean, do what you want. But let's begin on today's recipe. As with the majority of the videos that I coat and deep fry things in, the ingredients are pretty much going to be the same. You want some flour, some garlic powder, salt and pepper and oil, a couple of eggs, a few blocks of cheddar cheese, and the big difference in this video, some Doritos. I would imagine this recipe would work with whatever type of Doritos that you like, but I'm gonna go with the two most basic, the Cool Ranch and the Nacho Cheese. Now the first thing I wanted to begin doing was to slice up this cheese into triangles except this block of rectangular cheese didn't really want to cooperate. I had to kind of settle on these 90 degree right angle cheese pieces. Shout out to my old geometry teacher in high school, Miss Weltman. See, I remember some stuff. But anyway, once that entire block is cut up into as many triangles as you can make out of it, you want to set those aside and begin preparing everything you need to coat them. I first cracked a few eggs into a small bowl and gave them a good whisk. Then in another small bowl, threw in about a cup and a half of all-purpose flour. And finally, the stars of the show, the Doritos, which I threw into my blender and blended them up really finely. First the nacho cheese and then the Cool Ranch. Placed that in a third small bowl and then added in some salt to both, some black pepper, and some garlic powder. I'm hoping that if you don't taste the Dorito flavor as much, these spices will compensate for that, but we will see. So now, we can finally coat our cheese. You want to start with giving them a roll in the flour, try to pat off all the excess, then dunk them into your egg wash, and finally finish them in your crushed up Doritos. I've said it before, I will say it again, I don't know how many times I have done these steps for a recipe on this channel, but all I know is it's too many at this point. But once I prepared all my cheese like that, rotating between the ranch and the nacho cheese flavor, I threw them all out onto a cookie sheet with some parchment paper and then into the freezer they went for about two to three hours. Once they were in the freezer, I grabbed myself a flat pan with a few cups of oil, let it heat up over medium to high heat, and then after your Doritos had frozen for a couple hours, you could pop them all in there. I did each batch with about four or five pieces of the cheese, and I think that was perfect for the size pan just be sure to not overcrowd yours because then they start wanting to stick together and it's just a mess so don't after a few minutes of frying up in your oil and you just barely begin to see the cheese seep out of the coating you want to take them out and strain them off on some paper towels let them cool down for a minute and then plate them up on your nice white plate you see that you see the contrast there some call me a food artist I call me someone who just wants to eat it so I don't really care what it looks like <laughs> all I know is these look way too amazing to not try right this second so let's go now purely because I like them better I'm gonna try the Cool Ranch ones first you don't know what kind of torture it has been cooking and filming these all day without being able to try them yet so mm. Mm. okay so let's get right into it Right off the bat, I can tell you these are like a six and a half out of 10, and here's why. Much like the Flamin' Hot Cheetos mozzarella sticks I did a long time ago, at some point between crushing the chips and frying it and consuming it, it just loses all of its original flavor. Like that right there just tasted like fried cheddar cheese. It did not taste like Doritos whatsoever. And even the extra spices that I put in the breading, the salt and the pepper and garlic, like you can't taste any of that for some reason. And I don't know why, but I feel as though this one will be quite similar. This is one of the nacho cheese ones. You can kind of tell because it's like slightly darker than the other one. It's better, but it still has the same problems. And if you couldn't guess, they're super heavy and like greasy, so I'm already feeling it in the bottom of my stomach. <laughs> that won't stop me from finishing this though. I think I'll give that one a slight bump up at a seven out of 10. I need to end this video because I feel like I'm about to be in a cheese coma, so let's get it moving. Hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. If you did, smash a like on this video. Can we try to hit 5,000 on this? I think that's pretty doable. 
If there's more DIYs or recipes that you want to see me try, leave them down in the comments, tweet at me, send them to me on Instagram, I really don't care, whatever works for you. New video coming out on Saturday, but until then, have an awesome rest of your week.